Thursday morning. Got some breeze. It's cooler. We had a terrible storm last night. Lots of rain and wind. I'm on my way to drop off these knives at a new Indian restaurant. These are loaners I'm dropping off. I'm going to pick up his three knives. I've never known a restaurant to have, <laughs> have three knives. God, I can't believe it. He sent me and a picture a of them mile. last night. Turn left onto Independence Boulevard. And they, uh, two of them were, uh, one of them's a Dexter chef's knife. Both, all three of them are chef's knives. And I think two of them are Dexter's, I think. And one's a lasting cut, it looks like, but it's in terrible condition from the picture. But anyway, we'll see how that goes. And then, uh, as I'm over here, some lady is supposed to drop off a whole bag of knives at my house. A bag, she said, a lot. I don't know what that means. But we'll get to pick those out when we get home and see what they look Turn like. Turn left onto Independence Boulevard. Oh, shut up. And then uh, we'll go from there. We might get in a spin this afternoon. I'm at the Indian location. I picked up a 10 inch Dexter, an 8 inch Dexter. It's in terrible condition, got a big bevel in the middle of it. And another 8 inch Dexter. It's got a, a somewhat of a bevel in it. Okay, I'm headed home. But on my way here, I had a guy call me with a hedge trimmer. So I was only 10 minutes away from his location when he called. So I picked up a hedge trimmer too. It's not too bad a shape. Just needs cleaning a little bit. I'm not going to put the total gurry effect on this. I just want to clean it up a little. Get that sap off that area right through there, you see. And sharpen it. So I got some action. Look. Weed whacker. My son dropped it by last night. It's on the blink. I'm going to drop it off with the Mummel's man in a few minutes. Stand by. I got the head trimmers pretty much cleaned up. I haven't sharpened them yet. I got the uh, three restaurant knives finished. All the scratches are gone. They're polished up. I haven't cleaned them up yet. And you ain't gonna believe what's inside. The knives I was saying about the lady dropped off. Stand by. Well, at first I thought it was a whole family of Victor Knox. But it turns out these four are right here are Victor Knox. These three are Wustos. And then, seven and 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 serrated Victor Knoxes. That's six. Seven. How'd I get seven over there and six over here? That's six, seven, that's uh, 13, 14, 15, 17 of them. I can't even count this morning. All serrated Victor Knox, like paranoids. A gathering of Victor Knoxes. Okay, let's get to work. She's coming by at 4.30 today to pick these up. Well, I got the uh, Indian Dexter knives ready. I got the five knives from the bagel store ready. And I finished up all the uh, serrated knives and the big serrated knives and the little ones and the chef's knives in that wrapper right there. You already seen them. So I'm, uh, I'm waiting for this lady to show up at 4.30. 
These are not going back for a while. These are going back tomorrow as a sample. I'm waiting to hear from the mumbles man and see. I'll get back to you. I was just starting to put the stuff in my truck to go get the mumbles man and the doorbell rings. Get him Jack. And I had some uh, Japanese friends to stop by. Okay, Gladys, what's your problem? There we go. T O J I R O. We had one of these about a couple of weeks ago. Remember that whole set of Japanese guys in the Sunday Williams Sonoma? Had a small set of these six steak knives, if you remember. And then along came James. Little tune up on these babies. A little longer version. And we're not through yet. I've done several of these. The beauty of sharpness, it says. <laughs> I thought that was what I was. Now the only one, I've done several of these, not many, but some. I know you won't remember it, but when Tim and I worked at one market in Norfolk, we started last July, a year ago. A guy brought us in one of these, they had a big chip right along there where my thumb is, about the size of a ear of popcorn. Big chip. We fixed it for him. These are pretty nice. Look at how beautiful that thing is. She's dull though. Nice fancy box. Look at that. I like it. Okay, I think I'm going to do these tomorrow. I think I'm going to try to get the Mumbles Man if it's not too late. It's, uh, I don't even know what time it is, to be true for you. The tide's not low to 7 something, low tide. So that's not a factor. It's just a factor if I can get out of the house or not. See what my leader has planned for me. She knows I was planning on going for a spin. We'll see how it goes. <laughs>